Today I'm sharing with you what our five kids are getting in their stockings for Christmas. If you're new here, Sadie is 13, Maggie is 11, Patrick is 9, James is 7, and Tessie is 5. <laughs> and I am going to start with, let's see, who should I start with? First, I'm actually going to start with Sadie. She is our oldest. Oh, they're falling out all over the place. I guess that's not a bad thing since I'm going to show you what's in these. I'm going to go from the bottom of her stocking to the top. The bottom of her stocking, I have stuffed all of these really, really super soft wintery socks. I know it's a little bit on the practical side, but I felt like these socks were really cute. Some of them have like snowflakes and deer. So next up is a hair towel. It's like one of those twisty hair towels where you put it on and you can twist it up. I was kind of going for like a spa day theme with hers, which you might be able to tell with a couple exceptions. The next thing in hers is, um, lip gloss. I did put one just fun sensory thing. All of our kids got slime hands and that's just because these things are fun and because I bought a giant bag of them from Zulily earlier in the year that I've been saving. Um, so Christmas morning is going to be fun with all of these and you know, slime hands probably covering our ceiling. Continuing with, with the spa day theme is spa day masks. Then I got her a little speaker. It actually matches her phone because it's the rose gold. And last, Rounding out Sadie's spa day stocking is all of these different shades of pink nail polish and some kind of purplish ones and sparkles and stuff like that. Next up is Maggie's and Maggie is our 11 year old who loves mermaids. If you know Maggie, you know she's really into bubble guppies and there are more bubble guppies in here, but this is part of the bubble guppy present. You can see Mr. Grouper on the handle. I put some fidgets in here that I thought she would like. There's a little like poppet octopus continuing with the sea theme. Two Barbie mermaids. This one of course has half purple hair since Una is Maggie's favorite mermaid and she has purple hair. Moving on with the sensory toys theme, there are two little unicorn stretchy things. And then there is the Santa that is also a puppet. I kind of love these things. They feel like a sponge with silicone wrapped around them and they're just very fun, squishy and, and they're made to go in water. I believe they're like to be thrown at each other, but they also work as sensory toys. So she's gonna be excited about these. These are bubble guppies for the bathtub. With that fishing pole, she can catch the bubble guppies, but probably she'll just play with these separately. Like Sadie, these are her five little sticky hand things. Maggie likes the, I'm not even sure, they're like fairy hatchimals. Oh, there's another little hand in here. I'm gonna just leave it down in the bottom there so she can find it on Christmas morning. These ones looked a little bat-like and fairy-like. Um, but yeah, she likes opening these. She's had some of the bigger ones that had, I think pixies are what they're called in them. That is actually all of Maggie's stocking. Next up is Patrick's stocking. Our boys are both into Roblox, Minecraft, and Pokemon at the moment. And so you're gonna see a lot of that here. First is a little Roblox guy. I wasn't sure what to get in terms of Roblox. There's so many choices. So I just picked one that looked kind of cool. Pokemon, Pokemon cards, of course actual Pokemon toys. We can't leave out Minecraft, Steve, and the little sword. A little Roblox mystery box, five little slimy hands, of course, and a Tyranitar baby. This is called Larvitar. Okay, I had these when I was little and I thought they were really cool and our boys love magnets, so I got them these magnet sticks. They come apart and stick together. And lastly for Patrick's stocking is a pair of goggles in his favorite color, blue. Oh my gosh, just unloaded a kid off the bus mid video and now I'm back. My shirt is wet because someone splashed me, but we're doing this. Next is James's stocking. He saw this, thought it was hilarious, and I bought it for him without him knowing. So hopefully it's actually as fun <laughs> as he thinks it is. Like Patrick, he is also getting a pair of goggles, a little Roblox box, a Steam for Minecraft, a Charmander card, a Sonic and a Supersonic toy. I think this is super, supersonic. I hope. Five squishy hands. The same magnetic sticks as Patrick. Again with the potty humor. It's hard to see this, I know, with the light, but it is. I hope he likes this Roblox guy. I got it because it had toilet paper right there and I thought James would think that that was hilarious. Oh, apparently Pikachu escaped from Patrick's. This was in the bottom of the box I have these in, so I'm gonna put this back in Patrick's. It's Pikachu. Last but not least, we have Tessie's stocking with stuff falling out of it. Tessie gets one of the eggs, like Maggie's, mostly so Tessie doesn't try to steal Maggie's and some of the little people, some of them came unwrapped in the thing so you can see what they look like. I think maybe there was a holiday theme, a ha Halloween theme when I bought these because they look kind of like they're supposed to be a little bit spooky. A Barbie. Again, this is kind of so she doesn't try to take Maggie's Barbie. 
a whole bunch of sensory unicorns are falling all over the place. A flip sequin weighted hippopotamus. More unicorns that apparently slipped past the other unicorns. And another unicorn. She will also have five of the little squishy hands, but she also in the bottom has marshmallow squishes. Tessie loves squishy things. She loves stuffing them into places, seeing what she can fit, seeing what she can make with squishes. Um, unicorn, this was a unicorn pack. They're kind of squished from being in the stocking. <laughs> and then one more, and there's more of these. There's five, as I said. Anyways, that is what our kids are getting in their stocking for 2021. If you like this video, we'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in what we're usually talking about around here, which is all things autism, we'd love it if you'd hit subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, shoot. No light. Oh my gosh. I'm so wondering why it looks so dark. Because the light's not on and I've been filming for a minute. And last of all, oh, things falling all over the place. Oh. I am worriedly keep looking down because I am worried that her bus is going to come and I'm not going to notice it. Oh, I forgot what was in the bottom. So, 